So now when we're done with the script that we would like to run on a daily basis, the only need, thing we need to do that's missing is to attach a scheduler. And there's a bunch of different schedulers available depending on, on your preferences and whatnot. And I'm going to give you an example of uh, at least a very standard Windows scheduler called uh, Windows Task Scheduler. Uh, there's a lot of other options as well, so feel free to use uh, those too. I think a lot of the steps are very similar, but at least this you'll be able to set up in probably less than four, uh, five minutes. How do you find Windows Task Scheduler? It uh, is a part of uh, uh, the default applications on Windows, so you simply just uh, go and search for Task Scheduler, uh, and then you open up that app, and it's going to look uh, like uh, this. Uh, I like to make sure that my tasks are in a separate uh, folder here in my in my uh, uh, library. Uh, so you can go here and say, okay, I would like to create a new folder. And this is my Aries, you know, with some updater folder or something like this. Uh, so now that's under, you know, apparently under this, uh, this uh, my uh, tasks right here. So when I open this, I can go ahead and click uh, create uh, task, which is over to uh, the right. And uh, when I create a task, there's essentially just a couple of things I need to do. It's to provide a name, Aries to with some updater. Uh, then I, I like to do just a run with highest uh, privileges down here. Then you need to provide a trigger. That's how frequently you would like to run this thing. Uh, so if you click uh, new here, you can uh, pick uh, at one time. Uh, or you can say, okay, we would like to run that uh, daily, every day. Uh, and you can also make it expire, etc. right here. I'm going to put it uh, just here, and you need to provide a time. Very typically for Witson, uh, uh, Witson users is that they uh, put this in the middle of the night, so that it runs like at 3 a.m. or whenever their main database is, is updated. They do that just a few minutes after uh, that. Then the only last thing is to make sure that you have added an action. Uh, there are a couple of things that's important uh, there. Uh, the first thing is that you need to make sure that uh, you uh, point to the relevant uh, Python path for your executable. Uh, I use something called Anaconda, so I'll have different uh, paths for different Anaconda uh, environment uh, environments. If you're a little bit unsure what the path is to, uh, to that, you can just look at your different Python interpreters and whatever the path is to that. You can also use where Python in your CMD or in your command line tool to find out where uh, what that path is. Uh, so if I browse, uh, browse, browse here, I'll see that in Anaconda 3, I have my Python put under application here. Click open, and that's set. The second thing I need to provide is the script name. And the script name is just aries.py. Uh, so that's uh, provided there. And then uh, the last thing I need to provide is the path uh, to the relevant folder. And what I'm going to do there is to just copy the, the path to, uh, to the file. I'm going to paste that in and just remove the file name at the end, like this. And then I have the folder, I have uh, the script I would like to run, and I have uh, the Python executable that uh, is uh, the main action. I'll click OK, and I click OK again. And now I have then added this uh, uh, scheduled task right here. And I can also test that this actually works right now. Uh, so I can run this. And what happens is that uh, you know you will see that this thing is, is opening, and uh, uh, the uh, Python script is running as if uh, we were running it uh, manually.